I can't believe I just found this. Oh my goodness, this church sale did not disappoint. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I am super, super excited about this video. So here is what happened. I went up to the Goodwill Bins and I did a quick mini Goodwill Bins trip, which you can see the footage on this channel in another video of that Bins haul. But I hurried home to this so-called estate sale, a big estate sale, and it ended up being a complete flop. But when I was at that estate sale, which was actually just a garage sale, a very small garage sale, somebody mentioned this church sale. And I am so glad I came home because wait until you see what I find. It is one of my favorite things to find. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. And I found some other really fantastic items also. So right now I'm just kind of searching through the tables looking for anything that pops out that I can sell and make a profit on. If you guys are new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and most of my channel is what sold videos. I teach you what to buy and sell on eBay, um, items that you can pick up low and sell for a profit. Now, I'm branching out and trying to do more videos like this, so we're just gonna see what we can find here. Okay, so the first item I find right here is this Fisher Price Happy Apple, and I actually learned about this one from my viewers. I found one of those in a mystery box and I donated it, and everyone was like, no, that's a bolo. So since then I have found two. All right, this guy, I have got this up for auction. I just think it is so cute. It is handmade, but look what I found. If you guys have never found one of these, oh my goodness. Now it has the mouse, so that brings up the value and these are definitely a bolo i have it listed at 265 dollars or best offer but um, my sale has not kicked in yet so 25 percent off will be my sale when i decide to turn that on for that item heartstone this mug here um, i usually pick up this brand I do pretty good with it. It's just one of those brands that I like to pick up. They're kind of local to my area and um, they have a decent sell through rate. Now, if you find the Halloween ones, those do really good. So I find two other items that are really, really good at this sale. So stay tuned. I do have one item that I have up for auction and it does have a bid on it, but that has a little bit of a story to it. So stay tuned for that as well. All right. So this sale, oh my goodness, what a great way to start out garage sale season. I did look through the cards and basically looking for anything that is vintage as in very, very old, not just the 90s or, you know, I'm talking like the 50s, the 40s, really cool cards. I didn't see anything, so I left those behind. I did pick these up. I'm not sure if this was a mistake or not. I only listed two of them but I'm going to probably ship all three of them to whoever buys it just because the third one um, was coming out of the picture frame and I just decided to go that route. But I didn't put, um, I had already packaged it up, so not sure what I'm gonna do there yet. All right, this is, I believe it's a dolphin and I could not find anything like it and it had really, uh, the glass inside the glass, the multicolored had like another fish. It was really, uh, really cool. I wasn't really sure how to price that. If you guys have any tips for that, I've got it up for auction now, but I'm sure I'm going to be putting it on a buy it now. A lot of the items that I got at this sale, I started auction style and I will let them run through once. I typically price them at what I think they would be valued at because if I can't find any comps, I just kind of have to guess. And then if it doesn't sell, I will typically increase the price and put it at a buy it now or best offer. I don't usually start my auctions low and hope to get a lot of bids. That's not how I do auctions. I start at what I hope to get out of it. So if I think it's a rare, hard to find, unusual item, I will start it at what I think it's worth. 
And then if I get a bidding war, great. If not, I just put it at buy it now. I hope that makes sense. And let me know your methods for auctions down in the comments. I'd love to hear how you guys do things because I know we all do things a little bit differently. I know a lot of people will do 99 cent auctions just to get a lot of interest. But I also know sometimes when you do that, your item sells for 99 cents. So that's just not a gamble I'm willing to take. These are some coloring books. There are some older ones. There may have been a little bit of money there, but I just decided to leave those behind. The toy section was not very big. Um, I'm going to head over to the jewelry soon. I did find some jewelry items, but there was a spot marked vintage and antiques or something like that is what the sign said. And it was up the stairs, um, just these little stairs, kind of like a stage. And I was like, oh my goodness, why didn't I go there first? But then I'm like, oh yeah, because I found the Avon calendar. That's why. But um, I find some fantastic stuff up there, but one item in particular, and I would love you guys' input on that because it's an item that I'm having a little trouble with. I've got it um, auction style right now because, again, I can't find anything like it, and it is amazing. So we're going to talk about that once I actually show you the item. All right, we're coming upon something else here that I pick up that's kind of out of my comfort zone. It is this bowl, and it is a rooster bowl. It does have like a little chip on the top and a couple of little tiny defect defects around the rim, and I did disclose those in the listing, but I still think it's probably worth 100 bucks. I think it was made in Italy, and it's got that cool rooster print, and I could not find anything like it. And I also did a video showing you guys how I'm going to ship that item. So that will be over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel if you want to check that out. I have a little technique that I use um, when I'm shipping certain things. So you guys can check it out. I'm not sure if that video will be out yet by the time I post this, but you can check over there. All right, so we're at this little box of jewelry. I did pick up these little hummingbirds. I feel like things that are animals typically you know, somebody's looking for it. Like somebody's going to be looking for those hummingbird earrings. They are really, really cute. I did find some comparables and uh, based my price upon that. So super, super cute. I did pick those up. There was a lot of jewelry in here. Most of it was priced pretty cheap. I want to say they were a quarter or 50 cents. Um, and then the bags were individually listed and there's a couple items that I picked up that I haven't listed yet. I need to do a little more research on, so you won't see screen shares of those items. But I'm just kind of thumbing through all of these jewelry pieces, looking for something that stands out as something I want to pick up. There is um, more jewelry up in the vintage antique area, and I did pick up some more jewelry, so I will have some additional screen shares of those items. Those are stick pins, so I think they go in hats or like your, um, like a blazer, you know, on the, I don't know what it's called, the collar area. Not too familiar with those. I have sold them before, but uh, never worn one. So if you see something that you would have picked up that I did not pick up, please let me know in the comments. That helps me learn and it helps everyone watching learn because we don't all know everything, right? constantly constantly learning all right just taking a peek here at this jewelry most of it was costume nothing really stood out to me but i if you watch my channel you know that i am not a jewelry expert i like to buy it but i have a hard time listing it because i'm not great with keywords but it is definitely a category that I am trying to branch out and learn more about. I did pick up that little face mask pen. Um, I've sold those before, and then I think I have some listed. Also, uh, if you look at the screenshots that I pop up, let me know if you think I'm too high or if you think I'm too low on something. Feedback is always welcome. So we're going to hang out here just for another minute or so. And I do go over, I'm asking her how much she wants for it. And I had some other items, so I ended up bundling them. I think it was 75 cents for everything I got there. 
uh, the hummingbirds, I think, were a quarter or 50 cents, like I said. So I'm like, okay, well, I think I'll look again. She was adding um, stuff as I was standing there, or maybe she was just pricing. So I did take a peek at the clothes. I'm looking for single stitch, anything that stands out as vintage. Uh, I did not spend a whole lot of time here. Clothes, uh, I just don't have any interest in clothing anymore. I don't want to do measurements. Um, I, I don't know. I just shy away from it. So I probably miss out on some money by shying away from clothing because I know that tons of people are doing fantastic with it. But I used to be full-time retail arbitrage. That was all I did is I would go to discount stores and I would purchase clothing um, and sell it. And I did really, really good. But I just kind of, gosh, I probably did that for 12 to 15 years. And then I switched to hard goods. So now I really just focus on anything but clothing. I mean, I'll do some shoes, I'll do some hats, I'll do accessories, stuff like that. But I don't want to do measurements. I don't want to dress the mannequin. All right. What do you think about that? Should I pick that up? There were some things that, you know, I watched back the video and I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should have got that because the prices were, they were very, very fair. All right, so I'm back here. This is the antique vintage section. Look at this. I mean, how old is that? It's like a nativity. I don't know what it's made of, but I'm guessing, you know, you post them outside. They probably had that in front of the church really really cool they've got some doilies and some napkins and uh vintage items really nice condition really pretty items and some gloves all right i did decide to pick this up and i am going to do a video testing for bakelite so you can check that out that'll be on my sourcing with bolo buddies channel as well all right look at these pearls look at them they are 121 inches long these pearls they are marked 14 karat gold on the earring post i did not know any of that information when i was there i just thought they were pretty they were super long i did not know that it was all one strand so it's i think a little over five feet when it's doubled it's it's massive long it's amazing so I did price the pearls high. Um, I just, I don't know how to price them. I, it's totally out of my wheelhouse, but I, I was pretty certain they were real. And I was talking to a lady and she like picked them up and rubbed them on her teeth. And I'm like, did she just rub them on her teeth? And I know people do that, but I don't do that. And I'm wondering like how many people had touched them and ah, anyway, there were those little nurse figures. They are lead, I believe it said. So um, I did pick those up. I've got those listed as well. And just some really, really cool items. I did not get any of these dolls. Maybe I should have. You guys let me know in the comments if anybody specializes in this area. Um, did I miss anything here? I don't know what that was. So I've got my little pile in my hand. Um, I'm really excited about those pearls. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna sell. I don't know if they'll sell for as much as I have them listed at, but they. Again, I could not find any at that length, and I'm guessing that maybe the spacer beads are 14 karat, but I didn't test it, and I'm not 100% sure. I did pick these up and my husband was like, why on earth did you buy those? And I'm like, I don't know. They were a dollar. <laughs> so <laughs> they were probably not the greatest buy, but they were all sitting there. This level thing, I think that will do okay. And then here we are at some more jewelry. We've got um, another hummingbird piece I'm going to show you here in a minute. And there was another baggie of stuff that I bought. And when I got it home, it was really really nasty um they just had not been cleaned in a long long time that's the hummingbird set and then i'll show you here shortly another little baggie full and they looked interesting but i've got them soaking because they were cruddy this is awesome they are mother of pearl uh hand cut birds i do believe from my research that's what my research shows but i love them they are so cool so 
So just little baggies of stuff. Probably could have looked through this a little better, but um, maybe that's the bag. I think that was the bag that, oh, they were gross, guys. Really gross. Oh, <laughs> so they're, they're soaking. I had some like cleaning solution that I put on them. And I'll probably have to brush them with like a toothbrush to really get inside the grooves. And then again, I, uh, they may not even be worth listing by the time I actually get them cleaned up. I think they were like a quarter or 50 cents a bag. All right. So I did grab, not this. I looked at it, but I didn't get it. Should I have? And then this is another thing I know nothing about comics. Are those good? Did I miss something? I mean, I could have missed a bolo. This is amazing. It is an old um, cottage cheese container. I'm like, yes, I'm totally getting that. Super excited about that one. And then I did grab this Longenberger candle um, holder. You know, these are hit and miss. The Longenberger pottery, I typically pick it up because it usually sells pretty good for me, but that one did not comp out very well, but I didn't comp it before I left. So, um, it'll be a bread and butter. That strainer was kind of cool. That's an old game, I do believe. So I'm just kind of looking through here. See if I missed anything. Check out this old kettle. I don't know. Should I have got it? It looks pretty rusty. I didn't get it. I did end up grabbing those scissors. I haven't listed those yet. I'm not sure how to really list them. I did list that thing. I think I showed you guys that one all, already. And then I grabbed the um, measuring tapes. And the reason I grabbed all of them is see that white piece of paper with the prices? They were all on that piece of paper. So I was really just trying to make it easy. I did look at this microphone. Comps were kind of, they were decent. But I didn't know if it worked. I didn't know how to test it. So I just left it behind. And I think they had it priced at either $15 or $20. So we're back at the Rooster Bowl. The first time I walked by it, I did not pick it up. This time, I picked it up. And I took it with me. There's another little item that I find. And I find some DVDs that comped out pretty good too that I'm going to show you guys here shortly. Kind of going back over some of the areas I was already at. We're back at the cards here. And that's where I pick up um, this additional little small item. And the reason I picked it up is because it is new old stock, which is also NOS. Um, that's what I put in my title, new old stock NOS. These are stickers. I'm basically looking for scratch and sniff or anything that looks old. And I did not see anything. So I went ahead and left those behind, but that was a good price. All right, there's my bowl. So I'm like going to start this thing right here. I don't know what it is, but it's a bread and butter. New old stock. Again, I picked it up simply because it was old and it was still sealed. Somebody will be looking for that item. All right. We're going to head over to this area. I'm looking for any trapper keepers. Specifically, I would love to find a vintage Lisa Frank tracker, trapper keeper, but there wasn't one. This was paper mache. Uh, I don't know if it's old or if it's like a repop. Maybe I should have grabbed that. You guys let me know in the comments. Some of those old Halloween paper mache can go for big money. And that one was pretty cool, but it was pretty big. So I ended up leaving it behind, but I'm questioning whether or not that was a good idea. I didn't feel like it was super old. We're back in the Christmas, just doing a double take. I mean, I did find an Avon calendar and I got there, I want to say 1130, 12. I mean, it may even have been 1230. So imagine if I would have got there early, how many treasures did I miss? All right, that was Boy Meets World DVD set. That ended up being pretty good comps, so I'm glad I was able to pick that up. I picked up these TV, TV ears. 
I don't know how to test them. I'm not sure if they work. So I have them up for auction sold as is and they have a bid. They are currently at $14.99. Okay, I'm duplicating some of the footage just so I can kind of end the video here. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I feel like this sale was amazing and I'm so excited I got to share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. Be sure Thanks to check out the description watching. of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.